By the way, there are many myths of debt, and I'll be looking at some of them in a number of episodes. The first myth is that you cannot survive without debt. There are many people who believe that no one can do without borrowing, that no one can survive without debt. The world is awash with statements like, you cannot do without debt. Mwanaume ni deni. You need debt to supplement your income. A little debt does not harm anyone. You need some debt to put you on toes. And many of such statements. Even those that sell debt, if you look at the way they advertise the debt, they bring it forth in a manner to suggest that you actually need debt every other day as a partner to help you maneuver through life. They paint a picture like none of us can make it through financial life without borrowing. Maybe I need to ask you, can you do without debt? Yes, can you do without debt? While I agree and often teach that debt can be used as a catalyst for wealth creation, I am well aware and alive to the fact that borrowing for the sake of borrowing can be very catastrophic. Borrowing for the sake of borrowing is a very good ticket to the trap of debt. Believing that no one can survive without debt, believing that you can't do without debt, is a way of colonizing your mind into beginning to use debt as a crutch for solving your financial obligations. That every time you have a financial need, your mind rushes to believe that someone said that no one can do without debt. And therefore, even as you plan your expenditure, even as you look at your income, you look at it with those eyes that are already telling you that this will not be enough. And it is not wrong for me to think about debt. It is, it is not, it's not a big deal for me to think about borrowing to add on to what I have for me to be able to bridge to the next payday, for me to be able to bridge to the next time I'm receiving my money. It creates some sense of laziness. Uh, instead of working hard to earn, to meet your financial obligations, sitting down knowing that it is okay for you to borrow for consumption, for you to borrow that no one can do without borrowing, makes you want to sit down and just be comfortable because you are covered by debt. That debt will help you sort out your issues. Now, the truth is that it is possible to do without debt. It is possible to sail through life financially without having to borrow. There are so many people who are living and doing life successfully without the need to borrow. Well, you may look at them as lacking ambition, but the truth is that they are far much better than those of us who just borrow for the sake of borrowing, who just borrow because we qualify, who just borrow because we think no one can do without debt. As I said, I agree that debt can be used as a catalyst for wealth creation, but only when you get to master debt. You master debt by knowing how debt works before you swim into it. You master debt by making debt your servant, sending it out there to go and fish for you. You don't master debt and then you borrow for consumption. You don't just borrow because someone said it is okay to borrow. And that is the danger of this myth. It creates a justification for people borrowing for the sake of borrowing. Do not just borrow because you believe that society expects you to borrow. Do not just borrow because someone said it is okay to borrow, that no one can do without borrowing, that even the country is indebted to other countries and therefore is a justification that you, an individual, a small entity within the country, should be able to borrow. Do it because you need it. Do it because you know it's going to add value to you. Don't do it 
as a shortcut for income. Don't do it as a shortcut for earning. Do it because you know why you are doing it. Look, the day you begin to struggle with the trap of debt, the same society that you believed expected you to borrow will be putting pressure on you to pay them back what you owe them, will be putting pressure on you the day you do not have a place to hide your face. It is because the same society that you thought expected you to borrow will not understand that you borrowed and now you are trapped in debt and now you are struggling. We have to be cautious. Look, you can do better. Be sure to subscribe. I'll be back with the second myth of debt. And this is by the way.